Good morning, seventh graders. I'm going to show you how to take the information that you um, that we found yesterday and put it in your graphic organizer. Media Center web page, and we're going to go to the LibGuide. And we are going to look back over here at the um, math resources. Um, this is where we got the information from yesterday. And um, I'm going to just go, go quickly back to um, my librarian page. And you can go back to it very quickly by just gra grabbing your Noodle tools. I'm going to log in really quickly. And if I wanted to, I could go back to Noodle tools and I could just view live web page so I don't have to search for it again. Okay, so I've got these um, these concepts. These are basic concepts. And you'll remember that on your graphic organizer, it says, what two math com concepts do I have to understand? So you're going to write that down, but you also want to have some information underneath it to show how it works in your profession. Um, you also need to put in two math skills. So if you remember, we went and uh, these are basically the skills. These are the concepts. So basically, it's pretty easy for you to write some of these down. But you need to think about how it works in your profession itself. So I'm going to go back to my research. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. This kind of gives us all kinds of information um, about what, ha what librarians actually do. And we're going to go to the one that says Occupational Outlook. And it says what they do, work environment, how to become one. So you're going to click on what they do. And you're going to look in their duties and their responsibilities to see if you can find stuff that math might apply for. This would give you those examples that I'm asking you to find. Um, if I go back to my infographic, you can see that I picked geometry and statistics. And those were some of the big ideas. There's geometry. I didn't have statistics, but you can see I have basic statistics underneath algebra. And then I had budgeting and percentages. But I've got examples underneath of each one of these. So you're going to make sure that you have the examples underneath here, like I said. And then you're going to need to come up with symbols for your infographic. Mine was librarian, but I didn't want to. I had some ideas here, but I found um, a brain. And I put an, I had the eye in the brain, and so that was a good idea for me to choose because, you know, it's about expanding and learning more about knowledge and insight, that kind of thing. And then I needed to have symbols for my math skills and my math concepts. And you can see here that I have the pyramid for geometry. I've got people for statistics because my statistics deal mostly with people. I've got budgeting, which looks at the, the, the prices of stuff. And then percentages. I have my pie chart, which is a, another way to represent percentages, not just a percent sign. Okay? So I'm, I want you guys to brainstorm these ideas. So good luck today with that, and we will talk soon.